Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy! Who just ran away from us? Clover! Oh. She was in the room where Alice was, and then we walked in and she was like, <gasps> and we were like, wait, don't be weird, Clover. Why would you run away? <clears throat> Great synopsis. Okay. Thanks. Hey, hey, come on. Don't run away. Run we away. just woke up. What? Well, sure looked like you were trying to get away from us. I wasn't running away, though I just don't want to talk to you. Isn't that pretty much the same thing? Look, running away isn't going to do you any good. I'll always catch you. Oh. <laughs> don't you want to find out who killed Alice? Well, you're not going to be able to figure that out unless you talk to people. I need to wait. I need to wait for it to scroll. I don't too excited. To. Why not? I already figured out who did it. Did you, though? Who was it? I can't tell you. Why not? You might be working with them. Both of you could be in on it. Oh, come on. Of course we're not. Forget about it. There's no point. It doesn't matter what you tell her, she's never going to believe you. Just tell us one thing, Clover. How did you know who it was? I noticed something. And what was that? Alice figured it out too. Before she... What was it? Why don't you figure that out yourselves? Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, wait! Clover! <laughs> Ah, 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 clover. Cl clover. Well, there she goes. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Shit. What's wrong? Forgot to ask Clover what color her bracelet is now. Oh, really? That's it? Calm down. She's a cyan pear. You saw it? Yeah. Snuck a peek at it when she ran by. And it looks like Alice's is a blue solo. She reached down and casually picked Alice's bracelet up off the floor. I'll hold on to this. Yeah, good idea. I wonder what it was that Clover noticed. You mean what Alice noticed? Were you even listening? Fine. What did Alice notice? Fi didn't answer. Instead, she knelt down and began to examine Alice's body. What are you doing? I'm investigating. What are you investigating? What does it look like I'm investigating? <laughs> I'm looking for any clues to what she figured out before she died. Huh. <laughs> Sigma. Found something already. Have a look. Fi held something out. It was a handkerchief stained reddish brown. Is that blood? Looks like it. <laughs> no, it's blush. It's darker than Alice's, so it's probably been on her since before she died. If it's not hers, whose blood is it? The old lady? Maybe. Do you think Alice killed her? Who knows? She could have just found this somewhere for all we know. Hmm. And you think she figured something out from this handkerchief? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. So, time we moved on. We need to figure out what Tenmyoji and Dio's bracelets have changed to. And we need to find Quark. Yeah. Let's take the blue door then. We should be able to get to the room Tenmyoji, Quark, and Clover went to that way. Sounds good. Gonna happen. What's gonna happen? <laughs> so do you think Alice really did kill the old lady? That doesn't make any sense to me. I I don't think that's true. I I didn't think that when I was at this point when I was playing. Right. I am by That's what I was asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And I don't buy that she just picked up a bloody handkerchief somewhere. It's just like, well, this is mine now. 
We did see her kneel down by the uh, AB rooms. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that was never really addressed, and she had never done that before in the other branch. I honestly figured she was just like, why are we doing this? I should just die. I was getting ready to radical six out of here. All the doors are locked here. What? Oh. Oh, it says rec room. They almost got us. This is the only door that's unlocked. Yeah, so this is where Tenmyoji's team went. Can I ask a question and you can say you won't answer it if you want? Do all the doors in these areas ever get unlocked, or is it always just one? All the doors... Oh no, it's only one at a, one at a time. So by the end of the game, will each of these doors in this we'll, corridor... You know what I mean? We'll be able to go to every room. It's like, you notice how there's three doors in every corridor? Yeah. Like, usually, I think, only one of them opens. Right. Per branch. Right. So eventually we go to all three. Okay, okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah. Thanks. I'm gonna open it, all right? How many times do I have to tell you? You don't need to keep asking permission. Okay, okay. We haven't seen the rec room yet. New room. Rec room. Rec. Rec. That's where you wreck things. Record yourself wrecking. Recreationally. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Tenmyoji. How you doing, Bolo man? Guessing from your face that Quark is still missing. No sign of him, huh? Happy. Wh what? I'm asking if you're happy Quark's still missing. No, of course not. Why would I be? And then does it hurt? Huh? Are you so terrified about whether or not he's safe that it feels like someone's got your chest in a vice? No. We're not you. We're not you. We just met this kid. If anything, we're a little scared he's going to try and kill us. <laughs> I didn't think so. Quark's got 9 BP. If I find him first, I might make him escape. Ah. <clears throat> so it's better for you if I haven't found him yet. Am I wrong? Tamiyoji, what's going on here? This doesn't sound like you. I know you're worried about Quark, but... And just what the hell do you know? He's all I've got left. If something happens to him, I'll... I'll... Tamiyoji. It's all my fault. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I, I never should have brought him here. Did you say brought? Yes. Zero made me an offer. Wait a minute. I thought you said you and Quark were abducted like the rest of us. You mean you came here voluntarily? Ah, I mean... If he made him an offer, that doesn't sound terribly voluntary to me. Hey! But all we know, Zero was like, do you want to die now? Or do you want to play my game? Hey, answer me! What the hell is going on here? Can I see the other side of your bracelets? Huh? Why? Please, just do it. Fine, I looked at one another. Neither of us knew what was going on, but there was no reason to refuse. We shrugged and did as we'd been told. Then suddenly... Ah! In the blink of an eye, Temioji had pulled some kind of can from his pocket and sprayed both our wrists with it. Hey! What the hell, man? Calm down. It's not going to hurt you. Is this some kind of chemical? Yeah. I found it when I was searching this room. He walked towards the door and flipped the light switch. Um... Good work. It's dark now. <laughs> Show me your bracelets again. Fi over here with the <laughs> really good comments. Oh, it's dirt now. <laughs> that stuff you sprayed us with was luminol, wasn't it? Luminol. It's like. Uh, remember luminol? In this game? In 999. We sprayed it on the toilet to make the blood <laughs> glow. <laughs> yeah. Ew, it's yeah. really gross. I have warning voice. I guess when you turned off the light. 
What? I said, oh, I have morning voice. And you just go. Like, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I want to move on and concentrate on what's happening. Rather than talk about your morning voice. F then move on and play the game. On in. Play the game. No, let's talk about how you have morning voice. <laughs> it's really hard to get it to be normal for a while after I wake up. Why did Tim Yoji spray luminol on the back of their bracelets? Because he's trying to see if there's blood or other substances L on their bracelet. Uh, yeah, that's what luminol's for. Yeah. Yeah, but why? Yeah. Why? Because he's that? weird and creepy. Why That's not wouldn't the he do that? That's not the answer. He's looking for clues. Duh. Clues to what? Let's find out. I already know. <laughs> Isn't that the stuff they use on cop shows to find blood and uh, other stuff? Yeah. Why'd you spray us? Just relax, okay? That's all I needed to know. What? Neither one of you is Zero Senior. Are you saying that because there wasn't any reaction from the Luminol? Yep. Uh, someone might explain this to me. Well, you know as much as I do now. I was just making guesses based on what he was doing. Hey, Tomioji. Sorry, but I've gotta go. I need to go look for Quark. No. I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. You dropped a real bomb back there. And I'm not about to just ignore it. What did you mean when you said that Zero made you an offer? Yeah. Why are you here? Yeah. I can't tell you. Uh. Why not? I don't really understand how, but you seem to have decided that neither of us is Zero Senior, right? Yeah. Then why? You don't get it. I can't tell you no matter who you are. Right now, we might as well assume Quark is a hostage. Zero Junior seems to be aware of everything that goes on here. If I tell you, he'll know. And then God only knows what Zero Senior will do. Please, I'm asking you, put yourself in my shoes. I looked him in the eyes for the first time since we'd entered the room. and saw nothing but years of loneliness and regret. Before I could speak, he turned and left the room. Wow. Ted Miyoji. Mr. Drama King over here. Hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start responding to people like that when they say, hey, can I ask you a question? It won't do you any good. It won't do you any good. You guys say oh, it yeah. like that. It won't do you any good. Yeah. It's a hopeless situation. <laughs> We're all just gonna die! Not like you're gonna do anything with it. <laughs> Whatever you wanna know, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it gets even better. <laughs> Fi. Fi the tood. You're getting too much of a kick out of Fi. I think she's my favorite. Our home life is gonna start being miserable for me. <laughs> Hey, Kimmy, It'll do you know if the, the dishes are clean me. or di whatever you want to know? I don't know anything about it. It won't do you any good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's not about what just happened. Yeah? Then what is it? Oh, I see. You mean his bracelet, right? Chill, man. He's a red solo. I had a look while he was talking. Oh, good job. That, uh... Wasn't what I wanted to ask either. Well, what is it then? <sighs> Just let him ask. When he sprayed us, you uh, you screamed, didn't you? Probably no. Because you screamed. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. No, I'm pretty sure you did. Not quite so tough when you're scared, huh? Shut up. We've got stuff to do. Get going. Move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you didn't scream, Sigma. Yeah, I know. To be fair, he's not trying to be super tough, though. He No, he he's a man. He yelled. Uh, he shouted. Uh. So screaming is when it hits that high octave. <laughs> screaming is when women do it. <laughs> he when, screamed like a guy. When it's a man, it's a yell or a shout. <laughs> Instead of taking it like a man. This... It looks like another warehouse. Oh my god, they gotta talk about the white chromatic doors again. I guess it's one of this floor then, too. Makes sense, I guess, as much as we saw the map. 
Floor B is much bigger than floor A. Yeah. Are they underground? What's that over there? Probably more graffiti. There was one on floor A too, remember? Yeah, there was, but... Never mind that. There's someone else here. Is that Dio? Looks like it. Let's go see what he's up to. Hey, ass face! <laughs> What's up, Dio? I, I hey, hate ass him. face. I hate him so much. <laughs> Well, they got the, they got the suspicion music going. I know. What are you doing here, Dio? Oh, nothing. Mm. Just going with the flow, you know, and seeing where life takes me. You don't seem to have any interest in searching for Quark. We don't mean in general, Dio. We mean like. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant in life. <laughs> we mean like right now. Like, what are you doing here in this warehouse? You freaking weirdo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Why circus freak. <laughs> Look at him. Do we even know he's really missing? Maybe the little shit's just off having nap time somewhere. <laughs> Kimmy thinks everything's funny in the morning. Wow. <laughs> Your little shit's just off having <laughs> nap time somewhere. Shut so up, I figure, dude. let sleeping dogs lie, right? Or kids, in this case, I guess. If we wake him up, he might realize he's got enough BP to blow this popsicle stand and ditch us. That happens. It's all over. We'll be stuck in here for the rest of our lives, which probably won't be that long. The rest of our lives? Yeah. Did I stutter? Or did you just forget? Zero Junior told us, remember? The number nine door only opens once. Once that poppins, it's all over. Poppins? Close for good, huh? I had to admit, I'd kind of forgotten that detail, but if Zero Junior had been telling the truth, we wouldn't be able to get out until we died. Hell, even that might not be enough. Maybe they'd just leave our corpses there to rot. My stomach did a little flip. <laughs> so? That's a talented stomach. What are you guys here for? Yeah. To bring Fi here so I can kill her? What? Oh, really? You already forgotten your little stunt earlier? We're damn lucky Kate chose ally. If he hadn't, you'd be hanging from that crane right now. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting a little desperate. Word of advice, Dio. Chill. That's not a smart attitude to have here. All you'll do is make sure that whoever plays against you in the A-B game won't pick ally. You talk as if I give a fuck. I already know I won't be up against you two. Why not? Kay and I are the yellow pair. You guys are the magenta pair, right? Two pairs can't go through the same chromatic door. Simple enough for you. How do you know our colors? Simple enough for you. Simple enough for you. Simple enough for you. Simple enough. Simple enough for you. <laughs> it's like, so, sorry, I didn't quite catch that. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Can you use your actual voice? The rest of it? Uh, uh, for you. For you. Okay. Uh, if I ask, how do you know our colors? Kay told me. He was here a while ago. Speaking of which, Temioji and Clover were here too. Guess everybody misses my company. Anyway, that's how I know what everyone's colors are. <laughs> was Kay by himself? Yeah. What about Luna? Luna? I haven't seen her. Luna did! I see. Anyway, Kay and I won't be pairing with you two. We'll be taking the blue solo. That's... That's Alice's bracelet. Don't say that out but loud. How'd you know that? Oh, come on. Really that thick? Look at the doors in front of you. These are the next chromatic doors. So the next color is... White? Bingo. See that thing next to the door there? Looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. I get it. You and Kay are both yellow. You can get yellow by adding red and green together. If you add blue to that... It becomes white. Exactly. You get magenta by adding red and blue together. And then adding green to that gives you white. So that means Fi and I would need to pair up with the green solo, which is Luna. Right. 
That means the other three would be in the same team as before. Temioji, Clover, and Quirk. We know that Temioji is a red solo and Clover is a cyan pair, so... The only one left is the other cyan pair. So we can assume that's what Quark is. Could there be any other combinations? No. There's only one option this time. All we gotta do now is wait for these white doors to open. Well, we need Quark. Yeah. Without Quark, Timmy OG and Clover are... We've only got five minutes left before it's time to meet up with everybody else. This is 45. Yeah, but remember uh, Kay said that they would meet up at 40 minutes? Oh, uh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I spent a mistake in the game. Kimmy thought she was smarter than the people that dedicated their lives to making this game. I'm just kidding. I was genuinely confused though. Yeah, yeah. Kay said that they would meet up at 40. Right. So. We should get back to floor A. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay here. Nobody invited you, Dio. Get out of here. so much as a pain in the ass. <laughs> Nobody invited you. <laughs> Come on, Fi. Right. On my way. You're turning into Sigma. Hey. Nobody invited you, Dio. No, I'm. I'm turning into me. He's turning into you. Yeah. John Wolf is now in the game. It's the morphogenetic field at work. Oh my God. Has nothing to do with the fact that you've played this before. Although, why would you remember that one line? I wouldn't remember yeah. that one line. I wouldn't remember any one line. You know how bad I am with quotes. It is surprisingly true, yeah. Only from like shows and movies, though. You remember yeah. music. Well, yeah. Lyrics? Do you remember lyrics? I remember lyrics, yeah. That's because you hear them over and over again. Yeah. The lounge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dio's here again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, hey guys. Simple enough for ya. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought I'd get my drink on. Simple enough for ya. <laughs> huh? Something up? Why'd you just stop? Well, see that clock over there? The one that looks like the sun? Yeah. It reminded me of something we saw earlier. What do you mean? Remember the graffiti on floor B? You remember what it said? Memento Mori. Uh... If the ninth lion ate the sun. Memento Mori, right? Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? It means something about death. Remember death? Yeah, remember death. Yeah. It's Latin for something like, be aware of death or remember death. I think it's usually used to mean, we're all gonna die someday, so don't forget about your own mortality. What about the other Akuna part? Akuna Matata. <laughs> In other words, YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the original YOLO. Well, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? If the ninth lion ate the sun, I mean, yeah, it's kind of nonsense, but... Oh, I get it. That's what the clock made you think of, right? The sun in that sentence. Yeah. Did you notice anything strange about that graffiti? Apart from the fact that it made no sense? Not really. It's like blood. <laughs> Wrong answer. Maybe you're not the eagle eye I thought you were. I guess I have to do everything. Oh my god, just spit it out! It was spelled wrong. Specifically, they spelled ninth wrong. Oh, it should they? be N-I-N-T-H. But the graffiti had N-I-N-E-T-H. Oh. Um. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh yeah, look at that. They just there put an is. extra E in there? Exactly. That's their stupid. That's kind of a bonehead mistake. Do you think it was like a kid who wrote it? Maybe it wasn't a mistake at all. I'm not following. Maybe Zero put that E in there on purpose. But why? Maybe because he didn't have enough letters otherwise. Uh, what? Anyway, if Zero wrote that graffiti, then it's got to be significant. Remember death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Huh. But then it's also 
an anagram for something. I was gonna say, it has to be, because yeah. shit. Hey, it's already two minutes past time. Well, wow, we've been talking about the graffiti for seven minutes. They're gonna kill you. We should get moving. <laughs> they show up, Kay just clubs her over the head. <laughs> he has a scalpel. Oh, you're late. <laughs> right. Oh, hey, Kay. Kay somehow turns into, like, the mob boss. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's compare notes. <laughs> That's the video. No. <laughs> no, I mean I for the meeting. Joking. Wait. No one's here. Huh? Kay and Luna aren't here. Astute observation. <laughs> what should we do? What do you mean, what should we do? All we can do is wait. We don't want to end up missing each other by accident. Yeah. Guess you got a point. Hey, wh where are you going? Just want to check something really quick. Check what? The last time we saw Alice alive, she was right here. Remember? She was kneeling down, looking at something on the ground. Yeah. What do you think she was looking at? Huh? Find something? Isn't this blood? Uh-huh. Nice work there, Sigma. I don't need you to pat me on the back. It makes me feel stupid or something. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> the truth hurts. Aww. <laughs> Sigma, you're not stupid. So... You're just silly. Blood, huh? <clears throat> Oh Is my it? god. Bai suddenly looked up at the ceiling. I followed her gaze and found myself looking up at the metal crane. It was the kind you might see in a shipyard. The sort that moves along a metal track and has a claw to grab and lift cargo containers. So, what's the deal with the crane? <laughs> what? Damn! Gone again. Stop running around. I was hoping that the crane was trying to pick them up or something. Just tell me what you found. I'm gonna switch it to auto. Great. I noticed something. Oh yeah? And what, pray tell, was that? The same thing Clover and Alice noticed. That's arg. <laughs> Can you just tell me? Look at the number six AB room. The side that's facing the wall has blood on it. What's the first thing you think of when you hear blood? Vampires? Yeah. This whole thing kind of sucks, right? Come on! This is no time to be screwing around. I'm talking about this thing. The handkerchief Alice had. There's some blood on it that we assume belonged to the old lady. Consider this for a moment. Let's say this thing was on the floor next to the rightmost AB room. We'll assume that the blood on the side facing the wall came from this handkerchief. Okay, then what? Alice is looking at the handkerchief. Right. That what do you think was going through her mind? Why is there a blood-stained handkerchief here? Or something along those lines. And? Did this belong to the old woman? It must have. And? Oh my god! But if it did, then who put it here? Or, wait, maybe someone just dropped it, or they could have thrown it here. And? You want more? You're almost there. Hmm. How long has this handkerchief been here? Something like that? Yes, exactly. Just say so how next long time. do you think it was here? Well, I imagine it wasn't here from the start. Wait, when's the start? 
You know, when we started. When you and I escaped from the AB room through the hatch on the roof. The first thing we did after we got out and met everyone, except for Clover and Kay, was go look at the number nine door. Her brooch is off to the side, it's floating. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh no. It's a bug. We spent a lot of time examining the AB rooms, too. Yeah, I know, we looked at this from the ex- eh, I know, we looked at this from this exact angle. I'm pretty sure there wasn't any handkerchief there then. There wasn't. Wait. Huh. Finally figured it out, huh? So the whole thing's been moved. No way. The AB room yeah. moved? Was it that crane? Probably. They moved the rightmost one all the way to the left. So, what was in the leftmost AB room? The dead woman. The body of the old woman. And, who was trapped in there when the nonary game started? Well, it would have been the AB room on the right at first, so... Luna. For the third time, Fly walked off without saying anything. My body felt like lead, but I forced myself to follow her. She stopped in front of the graffiti that began Two Milkmen. What do you think this is? Well, I thought it was just paint from the graffiti at first, but I'm guessing you don't think so. Is that more of the old woman's blood? Seems like it. So Luna would have killed her here, then taken her to the rightmost AB room. After that, she would have moved the room with the body in it so that no one would suspect her. That would mean the first person to get out was Luna, not Alice. Hmm. So what about that handkerchief? This thing? Here, look. You see this line? It's possible that line is from whatever the weapon was. Which mm. means this might have been wrapped around whatever was used to kill the old woman. She's talking about this shape right here. Okay, I was just gonna ask if that was a real shape or if that, if that was just like artistic shadowing. Yeah. So um, it looks kind of like a knife blade. It does look like a knife blade. So maybe Luna wrapped the weapon with this handkerchief and then threw it between the rightmost room and the one next to it. Right here. So that's why that light's there, okay. <clears throat> then when the room was moved, it came out. Ah, uh, see? So why wouldn't she have thrown it between other rooms? <laughs> I know. That means Alice picked up the weapon along with the handkerchief. Seems pretty likely. Also, the knife was probably in the handkerchief. Yeah. Is it in Alice now? This is all just speculation, understand? There are a whole lot of things we still don't know. Yeah. It's a mystery, all right. For example, why would Luna leave the AB room, murder the old woman, and then carry the body back and hide it in the same room? I guess it's possible she just wanted to hide the body. But we still don't have any idea why she would have wanted to kill her in the first place. It's also worth noting that Zero Jr. seems to have let all this slide. He's supposed to be making sure the game goes according to plan, but... So far, there have been two murders, and he hasn't done anything about either of them. Do you think that means Luna is Zero Senior? Even if she was, though, I'm not sure why she killed the old woman. It's possible that she was some kind of intruder who wasn't supposed to be here, but... If Luna is Zero Senior, couldn't she have found a better place to hide the body? She'd have access to the entire facility. That's not all, either. Let's say Luna moved the AB room to divert suspicion away from herself. If that's the case, why'd she leave the handkerchief and the weapon there? She had to have known they'd be discovered after she moved the room. 
Besides, when and how did she operate that crane? Luna was with us since we first got out of the AB rooms all the way till when we found the old lady's body. You, me, and her went through the magenta door and investigated the lounge. Then we went down to floor B together and came back to the warehouse. By then, the room must have been moved. Of course. Huh. Why didn't I see that sooner? Luna has an alibi. She couldn't have moved the AB room. We are her alibi. Interesting. I have to admit, you've got a point. Wait, what? You didn't even put up a fight. You're going to make me repeat myself. I never said Luna was the killer. Still, I have a feeling Alice thought she was, which would mean that Clover probably does too. Oh, you mean that stuff she said about what she noticed? Right. Hmm. So that's, that's probably what Clover was talking about. Yeah. When she said what Alice figured out. Right. Hmm. Hey, Phi. Hmm? Starting to get a really bad feeling about this. We were supposed to meet the others 20 minutes ago, but there's no one here. You're right. <clears throat> Sigma. Phi. There you are. Okay. I'm sorry. I have some bad news. Luna. Luna is dead. She's in room two in the crew quarters. The same room where Alice was murdered. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Huh. This was the third time I'd touched a body and felt cold skin. I thought it might get easier, but it only gotten worse. I didn't think I'd ever get used to it, but I didn't want to. I don't think this is something I'll ever want to get used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My hands began to shake, and I tried to steady them as I pressed a pair of fingers to her neck to check for a pulse. She's got a little birdcage necklace. necklace yeah. It's really visible there. Nothing, of course. Luna was dead. Her eyes were flat and empty, the pupils dilated in what could have been terror. It felt surreal. Like it might blink, and then she would sit up again. She would smile and blush and look away nervously, and everything would be alright. I blinked. She lay there, still, dead, and pale. And I... I trust him. Grief cracked open like an egg, and rage clambered out. <laughs> That's a Clamber. nice... That's a nice, uh, description. I like that. I like the word clamber. Yeah. It makes me think of Lord of the Rings and those, uh, goblins are coming down the columns in like Maria. It's you know, like Gollum's movement is a clamber at yeah. all times. Yes. He's always clambering yeah. about. Hot and angry and screaming. I clawed at the inside of my chest and pounded at the back of my eyes. So, one thing I want to point out, because they might not be able to see it right oh, here. Oh, yeah, there's a, like a, the vaccination gun. Yeah, I was about to say, you recognize it, right? Yeah. I squeezed my eyes shut and ground my teeth. My, hand, my hands balled into fists so tight they hurt. Took a deep breath and opened my eyes again. Another breath. I stood up and realized Kay was talking. I believe she was poisoned. See here, this device is some sort of syringe. I think it's called an injection gun. You can just put whatever you want in one of those vials and then pull the trigger. It's kind of like the needles in these bracelets. The drug they used is the same as well. The label on the vial says tubocurarine. The muscle relaxant. Yes. Since it's empty, I can only assume Luna was injected with it. You see the mark on her neck. I believe it is safe to assume that is where her attacker injected the drug. 
Perhaps they chose the neck for the carotid artery. Then your guess is probably correct. Luna was injected with tubocurarine, and it killed her. What about the others? Should I go get them? No, never mind. I want to get your story first. What do you mean? When you left us, you and Luna went off together, right? Yes. But when we talked to Dio downstairs, he said he'd only seen you, not Luna. Why is that? Luna and I split up as soon as we got to Floor B. We determined it would be more efficient. Two of us working separately could cover more ground in less time. Alright, so why were you late? What? You didn't show up till 20 minutes past the time we were supposed to meet. Sigma's asking you what you were doing. I was... resuscitating. Uh... resuscitating? Let me explain how I found her. I had gone to the warehouse five minutes before our meeting time. You had yet to show up, as had Luna. I believe I was standing between the yellow and cyan doors. Some minutes later, I heard something. It came from behind the cyan door, and sounded like a woman's scream. Well, it was actually quite faint. It was several doors away, after all. And as such, I couldn't quite make out what was being said. Or even if I had heard it at all, it seemed entirely possible that I had imagined it. I heard no other sounds for a few minutes following the scream. Eventually, the silence made me uncomfortable. Perhaps something had happened. So, I made my way to the crew quarters. As I entered the hallway, I noticed that the door to room 2 was slightly ajar. That was when I first suspected something was amiss. You can imagine the rest, I'm sure. I ran into the room and found Luna on the floor. So you're saying you spent a good 20 minutes trying to resuscitate her? Yes. I deduced that she had been injected with tubocurarine. Her heart had stopped, so I attempted CPR. To the best of my abilities, at least. With this mask, I was obviously unable to provide artificial respiration. Which is no longer needed, we found out. Yeah, it's no longer necessary. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell us? Because I had no reason to believe you would be in the warehouse. If you weren't, I would have wasted precious time. I chose instead to begin resuscitation immediately. As you know, even a short time without oxygen can cause serious brain damage. I felt time was of the essence, but... Hey, how much time passed between when you heard the scream and when you came in here and found her? I'm afraid I can't say exactly, but I would hazard a guess that it was around three minutes. Did you see the killer? No, I did not. Then they had three minutes to escape. That would have been plenty of time. When you leave this room, immediately to your left is a door that connects to the hallway. I assume they left that way. Hmm. Interesting. So, he said, clover. he said that he got to the warehouse, this area, five minutes before their meeting time, and then he heard the scream. Mm -hmm. It took him three minutes to find the, uh, Luna here, I think, mm -hmm. room two. So then four minutes later, and those two got to the warehouse. Yeah, but they were in the lounge, which I believe is right here. I think it's like lounge. Isn't the lounge right here? Oh, is it? Yeah, because that's the... Because um, these are the crew quarters. This right. is the infirmary. I thought... No, that's so. No, this is the lounge. Yeah, so that area is oh, right, cause where the no, doors are. Because there's there's a door here. Right. But there's not one here. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so the lounge is really far away. The X's are the locked doors. Well, what's interesting, I, I like that they show the routes that they take in this game. Actually, sometimes I get annoyed because I'm like, yeah, yeah, we get, it, let's go. But like, they were in the lounge, right? Right. Up right up until I think uh, two minutes after they were supposed to meet. Right. So. So that they was, would have. So while they were in the lounge, this whoever killed Luna had to have gone past them, like around the lounge. Right. Kind of creepy to think about. Unless they're still in the infirmary. Or whatever this room is. Oh, yeah, sorry. This is the infirmary. Yeah. Not this. 
I keep thinking that these little things, but these are just like little. That's where the doors are that are yeah. locked and everything. So the X's are the locked doors. Yeah. They, these yeah. are the crew quarters right here. Right. So they had you just to can't have... get to these. I mean, I don't see why they would have gone to the infirmary. That seems like really close. Mm-hmm. Because if they were found in the infirmary, then they would have been. It would have been like, did you not hear that scream that right. I heard it in the warehouse? You know. Right. So they must have gone out that way. So we can almost confirm that it wasn't Dio. Because mm. it just seems improbable that it's him. Why? Because he was on floor B. Oh, yeah, in yeah. In the other You're warehouse. Right. So I he feel stays, like that's... He stayed still. Unless he was, like, running, <laughs> you know, the everywhere. Only, and they would have heard that. Then in that case, the people that are unaccounted for are Quark, Tenmyoji, and Clover. Yes. Hmm. I mean, I feel like and Clover it's... does have motive. Yeah, Clover has motive. I hope it's Quark. I really want it to be Quark. Is there any chance they hid in this room somewhere? No. I examined the room thoroughly before I left to find you. Poor Luna. Um, may I say something? Yeah, sure. Won't do you any good. I'm not sure if this has anything to do with Luna. But there was something I wanted to point out. Look at Alice. Do you notice anything? The weapon. <gasps> it's gone! Indeed. The wound suggests a knife, but I doubt we'll know now. They never looked at it, idiots. But did the killer take it? How would I know? Maybe they took it before Luna was murdered. Why are you asking me? If they had it, why not use it to kill Luna? Hmm. Yeah, that would make sense. What? Sigma, if you were going to kill someone, which of these two methods would you use? I wouldn't kill anyone. This is hypothetical. <laughs> I would choose the injection gun. Right? Most people would choose that. The more you can divorce yourself from the actual killing, the easier it is to kill someone. There's a big difference between stabbing someone and injecting them with poison. So you're saying they took the knife before they killed her? No. I don't know either way. They could have taken it afterwards. There's no way for us to know. Could they have done that in the three minutes before Kay got here? It's not impossible. Three minutes is longer than you think. Mm-hmm. Anyway. What I was trying to say is that I don't know when they took the knife or whatever it was. We came here to get Alice's bracelet, and then Kay came by later. There was probably about a 30 minute window. Anyone could have taken it. They might not even have been the same person who killed Luna. Or it could be. There really isn't any way to know. And if we don't know, we really shouldn't try and draw conclusions. That could color our reasoning and that's not good. Conclusions without any evidence are useless. So just forget any conclusions you might have come up with. Okay. Save that brain space for something more useful. Okay, we get well, it. Well, I think that about covers it. Well... We clear? <clears throat> yeah. Good. Anyway, we should tell the others. About Luna, you mean? Yeah. We should go to the white doors then. Dio should still be there. Hopefully, Tenmyoji and Clover will be there as well. Yeah, good point. Once it's time to open that door, I'm sure they'll show up. Kay nodded and picked up Luna's bracelet. Please, take this with you. He held it out to me and stared down at the bracelet. It felt wrong to just take it. Like we were just using and abandoning her. Is something the matter? You and Phi are the magenta pair. Without the green solo bracelet, you won't be able to open the secondary door. I know. It's just... Then... He pressed the bracelet gently into my hand. If you don't wish Luna's death to be meaningless, then you must survive. Or do you intend to die without catching her killer? Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I sighed and closed my hand around the cold metal. Good. Shall we go? Wait. Shit. Something happened? No. Well, 
Not yet. We might be looking at a worst-case scenario. Uh, excuse me? God. What the hell is wrong with me? How did I miss this? I'm sorry. This is my fault. It's just... <sighs> there was so much going on, I wasn't thinking. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it, god damn it? What did you miss? Quark. Quark. Oh. Oh shit. Tamioji is a red solo. Clover's a cyan pair. Quark's the other cyan pair. If he's not with them, they can't get through the secondary door. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear. This is bad. And if they haven't gotten in by the time the primary door shuts, they'll be penalized. If we haven't found Quark by then. Time! How much time do we have left? Oh no. Oh god. Let's just go to the warehouse on floor B. Perhaps Quark has already been found. I sure hope so. Let's move! Uh-oh, everyone could die! Beep. So... I know... Kimmy's gotta go somewhere. Don't blame the sun. No, it's true, though. No, yeah. so we... We got a little bit of a late start, we sorry. We should probably stop here. Is it about to get long? This is a good stopping point. Okay. Cool. Well, let's do it. Which I know might seem strange. But don't worry. There'll be another video on Friday. Yeah, we'll... We'll play some more on Friday. Oh my gosh, I gotta stretch. This is me stretching. <laughs> okay. Chromatic doors have opened. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's about to get real. We'll come back on uh, Friday and see what happens next. I but, hope, uh, oh my gosh, so much is going on and it's very exciting and this game is fun. I like it a lot. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, like I said, Luna's Branch is very interesting. Yes. And, um, yeah. I'm a little disappointed that she's dead. I know, right? Yeah. You didn't really have a reaction to it. Because it was like... It doesn't make for very good videos. That's not true! This is what to... happened. Kay was like, Luna's dead, and you were like... That is not what I did. I went... Oh. Or something like that, probably. Stop it! That's not what I did! And then everybody watching this video clicked X, and they're like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kimmy didn't have a reaction. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that every person watching this is watching just for my reactions. No, it... I was really hoping that she'd be like, I'm actually evil! You know, I was hoping for, like, some villainous activity from her. Well, they did kind of paint a incriminating picture. I know! With the bloody handkerchief and the knife. I wanted to see Luna be a bad guy. Yeah. But I guess it's too late for that now. <laughs> it's the sound we make for Belle when she's being pathetic. Alright guys, well we'll see y'all on Friday. With more of the same stuff! We're so excited. Think critically!